Hey, sixth graders. This is Miss Warren. I hope everyone had a great spring break. Um, I enjoyed mine. I got to get outside in my yard and do some yard work, and I got to play with Jackson without also doing schoolwork at the same time. If you hear anything in the background, it's probably Jackson watching his iPad, or he might talk to me during this video. Uh, this is real life, and I'm at home with Jackson, so uh, you may hear him. He's two. I just wanted to make a video for you so that you could kind of have a better understanding of how to use studiesweekly.com. It is usually a paid subscription website that you have to have for a classroom, but they've opened it up for free during this time that everyone is doing distance learning. So I thought we would take advantage of it. It matches our Georgia standards perfectly, and it would kind of serve as a textbook for us since I didn't have a text, enough textbooks to send home with everyone. This would kind of take the place of that and kind of give us a place to get a um, as a resource with information. We won't use it every week, but we will use it some more between now and the end of the school year. So I kind of wanted to show you a little bit about it. I'm still learning too, and we'll learn together as we go through this process. But you can see this is this one of this week's assignments. The other assignment is the You Be the Teacher assignment. The You Be the Teacher assignment, you watched, just watched that YouTube video about the 10 incredible things about Canada. And you be the teacher, you make five questions and then provide an answer key with that. And you can do those questions however you want to, fill in the blank, multiple choice, um, just a regular question, true, false, and any way that you want to do that is fine. This assignment, though, the studiesweekly.com, week 10, think and review questions, and week 10 test. Here are the instructions. This is just on the assignments tab in Teams. It says, one, you will need to go to the website, studiesweekly.com. Your username and login is the same as for Office 365. Your username is your first dot last at students.glschools.org. Your password is your lunch number. And I had to type all those in. So if you're having trouble logging in, it's possible I might have misspelled something or misclicked something. So if you've tried your Office 365 login and it's not working, just email me or contact me on Teams and I'll double check it for you. But it should be your first dot last at students.glschools.org. That's where your lunch number just the same as it is when you log into Office 365. And remember that is your real first name. So you know, if you're like me and you go by a middle name, you have to type in your real first name. Number three says you will click on the sixth grade magazine. It should be the only one there. And then on week 10, Canada, our northern neighbor, and I'm about to show you that. Complete the think and review questions as you read the articles. You will need to write your answers on paper and then upload a picture here to turn in your work. So you're going to write on notebook paper as you're reading to answer the questions. I've had some people ask if you can do it in a document and then share that with me. Sure, that's fine. I was just trying to keep it simple so that people would have less questions. But I have no problem with you typing it and then sharing that document with me. That would work, and uploading it into Teams. That would work just as well. Number five says you also need to take the week 10 test. You will do this online in the Studies Weekly program. So there's two things you've got to do. You've got to answer the think and review questions after you've read or while you're reading. And then you have to do the test. And it's an online test, kind of like uh, in Study Island. There's some little asterisks at the bottom. It says I will be posting a video to show you how to use Studies Weekly. That's what I'm working on right now. And studiesweekly.com is a resource we'll be using throughout the rest of the year. Okay, so and when you get ready to do your work, you're going to go to an internet browser. And you're going to type in Studies Weekly. Or you could have just click the link that was there in the assignment. But I'm going to type in studiesweekly.com. Over on the top right hand corner, we're going to type or click on Login. And I'm going to log out right quick. I evidently was logged in last time I was in here. This is my usual login. You see where my stuff is here. But I've created a test student uh, to be able to show you. So remember, it's going to be your first name dot last name at students dot GL schools. Jackson, be still. GLschools.org. Okay. And then your lunch number is your password. So first.last at students.glschools.org. Lunch number is a password. And once you've logged in, you can tell it to save your information so you don't have to type it in every time. Okay. And there's evidently a, a data breach. I would want to change my password. If I, was, if, if I got this message and I were to you, I would want to go change my password, which you can do over here. 
where it gives you where it says first class that's the name of the student I put first name and last name as their name it would say your name right here I typed those in for you if I did need to change my password I could go over here and do it remember though if you change your password keep up with what that is so I'm gonna go back over here to the main page all right so when you first click on your uh, you get logged into your browser this is what you want to see and you see it says Georgia sixth grade studies weekly the Americas Europe and it keeps going to also say Latin America and Canada I want to click here and it's going to show me week 10 Canada or northern neighbor you can see there's some stuff here that you may not see mine says 45 percent done because I've been using it, using this to kind of play around with as I've been learning about studies weekly and trying to figure out some things to be able to show you so yours will probably say zero percent right here and it may just say let's begin mine says continue reading it is set up so that you don't have to do everything at one time it saves where you're at so if you don't get done in one sitting you can totally go back and do that you can see over here on the left it says articles and some of mine are checked off because I've read those or I've looked at those on this screen and down at the bottom there's a Canada mapping activity we are not doing that we've already done our map for this unit so we're not doing that there's a let's write we're not doing that but we are going to do the think and review okay so all these are articles to read it's kind of like pages in a textbook and then down at the bottom there's activities the one that we're going to do is the think and review is kind of like the questions at the end of a chapter if you look over here there are some kind of fun things along with this besides the reading i'm going to go to the first one which is hotels de glace and you can make this smaller by clicking on this it'll kind of narrow your menu over there and make it bigger by clicking on the menu the little kind of hamburger stack over there clicking on that makes that bigger and smaller this will read to you you click play so if you want to just read to you you can there's a video you can watch you can change the speed of the reading right there uh, if you wanted to read faster you could or, or slower there's a video you can watch down here at the bottom you'll notice it says collect rev coins and it has like this little hamster times five and up here there's bonus scores that's part of the kind of the fun things they've built in i'm going to click that you'll see it says good job you've earned five points you now, now have 175 red points and you click ok up here bonus scores it has where and i think i've already done these but if i hadn't have there would be some things where because i've looked at this it gives me a chance to earn some bonus bonus points same thing with how do eskimos make igloos I think I already had clicked on these so there's nothing there for the bonus points and right here it says back to article but that is just something kind of fun that they've built in so that as you see those opportunity to earn coins if you want to you can kind of play the game where it says my rev rat right here you click on that and you have a rat here it's a rat not a hamster he has his, his tail but you can watch the video it will explain more about revere watch a video introducing the leader of the rev rats but all these things you can decorate his cage by uh, how many points you have like i have up here 175 points right now i can buy this the king's easy rider and now that's in his cage so that's just kind of something fun that they have built in I can go back to my article over here going back to uh, publications you notice it's back to the same thing I want to click it's going to show me here to continue and then once I've read I gotta go back up here because it's going to put me back to the place that I am with all my stuff but back here on this article once I've read this I can go to the next one but what you're going to want to do is go ahead and read the think and review questions and answer them as you go so that would be the easiest thing for you to do so think and review i've clicked on that there are five questions what is the hotel de glace what is one benefit of american health care canadian health care what is the only country that is larger than canada bless you what are a few of the natural resources found in canada what do some people in Canada want Quebec to become? So those are the five questions you've got to answer while you're reading. Obviously, number one is going to be in that first article. 
So you can write down the questions if you want to, or you can just kind of you know go back and click and see which one is the next one each time. But I would go read the Hotel de Glace. As I'm reading, I would find my answer on notebook paper. I would write that down, or if you want to do it in a Word document, you can. All I'm asking you to do, though, is to write it on notebook paper and take a picture of it. Okay, so I've answered that question. I'm going to go back. I'm going to look at my thinking review. I'm going to see question two. What is one benefit of American health care, Canadian health care? So you've got two questions there, a benefit of American health care, a benefit of Canadian health care. So I'll go click over here. I'd read the next article. And as I'm reading, I'd find my answer. I would write it down. You can see you can also collect your ref coins there. I'd go back, think and review, read my questions. Number three was the only country that is larger than Canada. And I'd just keep reading. I'd go to getting to know and keep reading that way. All right, so that's what you're going to do with the thinking review questions. Once you've got them all written down, you're going to go back to Teams. And there you would upload. And yours looks a little bit different than mine, your student screen. But there you would upload a picture of those questions that you've done. Remember, you've also still got to take the test. So let's go back and look at that. Down here it says, take a test. Just like in Ms. Bradford's room, where she showed you how to open a new tab, that's what you want to do here. So when I come over to take a test, I'm going to right click or double tap if you've got it. And I'm going to open this link in a new tab. You want to do that so that you can go back to the reading. If you just open the test, if you just click this link, it's going to be the only thing you can see, and you can't really go back to the reading during it very easily. So I'm going to open a link in a new tab. At the top of my screen, you can see week 10. It says week 10, and that's the test. And so there's questions there. There's eight for this unit. So you would read and answer them. Okay. So over on this side, you can go back to your reading and find what answers you think they are. They are. Okay. Once you get done, you would click to turn the test. And this is one that I've played around with a little bit. So there's some answers already in there that I've already clicked on where I've been playing with it. You would click finish test when you're done. It'll show you that you scored three out of eight. I didn't do very well. I should have went back and read more. You'd click OK. But remember on the test, if you have both screens open in the tabs, you can just switch between those. And how I did that was I did a right click, open link in a new tab, so that I was able to see the test questions and go back and do the reading so that I could score higher on the test. Once you're done, you click OK. And it's going to report to me what your grade was on that test. All right, I think this is a great resource for us. It kind of will take the place of a textbook. It has some great information. It matches our standards. Uh, there's some fun things to it. You might have saw that there was a place there that said play. There's some games that you can play. Down at the bottom, there's a place where it says play, where you can play some different games. It has the fun things with the Rev Rat. But the most important thing to me is that it gives us a source of getting our information that's a reliable source and that matches our standards. So I hope our video cleared some things up. Remember, you want to submit your picture of your questions or submit your document here in Teams. Remember that there's two parts. You've got to do the think and review questions, submit those, and you've got to take that week 10 test. Okay, if you've got any questions, email me, message me in Teams, and good luck. Do well. You guys are doing a great job with distance learning. You're figuring ways of getting stuff done. You figured out how to turn things in. Most everybody's doing that the right way. Please remember, always turn it in at Teams through the assignment tab. If you can't get it to work, email me and I'll help you out or we can just send it by email if you have to, but try really hard to get your stuff turned in at Teams. All right, I hope everyone has, everyone has a great day and I'll talk to you later.